One of our most frequently asked questions is, what are some tips for prepping a GLAD unit? Some things that will actually help save you time are deciding which black line masters you might need. For instance, having a world map black line master, a country, state, and local map available, having specific timelines or diagrams that are specific to your year. If you can create them in a black line master, this will really save prep time for when you're getting ready to teach your unit. Because then all you need to do is hold it up, trace it, and you're good to go. You can make your notes for where you want pictures, colors, questions, all of those great things will be ready to trace on and you won't have to worry about the main material because you already have it on your black line master. Some supplies that are helpful when you're getting ready to prep a unit are having a projector or a large screen that you can find an image to trace. Many times we get very nervous about our art skills and making sure that what we're presenting is pleasing to our students and to ourselves. And we're a little bit critical of what we produce from time to time. So by having an image that you can project and trace, this takes a little bit of the pressure off. Once you have them traced, you can put them in large storage bags so that your graphic organizer, your pictorial, your whole class mind map, your process grid, any of your poetry, you can put it all in that bag. And then the small pieces like your observation charts, your picture file cards, they can go in smaller bags, put them within that large bag and you can hang them, put them in storage boxes or find a place in your classroom where you can grab them easily so that you're good to go when it's time to start that unit. Once you have your butcher paper, your pencils, your tape, I like low tack tape so that it doesn't stick on my walls or my charts too heavily because sometimes we have to move, reposition, and then put them back up. So having a low tack tape really is very helpful. Having a pencil to lightly pencil in all of the things that you want to teach on your charts is also extremely helpful. That way you don't have to worry about knowing what color you want when, what questions you want to ask, maybe when you want to turn your pictures over. You can write all of those things in pencil on your chart so it's good to go whenever you are. One thing that you'll need for sure when you're making black line masters is your black marker. You won't need your colored markers until you're actually teaching the unit. This creates a template that you can cover, trace, and then add the colors when you're tracing it with and in front of your students. When I'm prepping a unit, one tip that I like is I like to try to get my charts kind of uniform in size. That way I can just grab a paper, use my black line master, trace out what I need. So what sizes do I use? Typically, I like a three by three for a graphic organizer, a pictorial, um, any of my other charts like a mind map, a whole class mind map. It really gives a nice size without being too big or too small. But if I'm gonna do a process grid or my poetry, I like to have a little extra space and I usually will cut myself three foot by four foot sections of butcher paper. I usually will store these in large bags and I just mark them three by three or three by four and then I pull them out as I need them. When you're prepping for pictorial input charts, clip art can be your best friend. If you're looking at heroes or maybe specific people from history or you want a specific scene, clip art, black and white clip art, offers the opportunity for simple sketches that make it easy to create a black line master for your pictorials. 
The benefit of having a stack or a stash of Blackline Masters is whenever you start planning for a unit and you look at them and say, oh, I need a world map or I need a county map, you can go into your Blackline Masters, pull out the map that you need, lay it out, put a blank piece of butcher paper on top, trace it, and then build from there.